welcome to Beyond Caladasia, the official internet television show of Legends of Caladasia. I'm Jason, the creator of the game. Now, if you've never heard of Legends of Caladasia before, chances are you're watching this video on my old Tabletop Battlefield YouTube channel. So, now if you wonder where I've been for the past year, you have your answer. I was off starting my own Tabletop War Game Company. So, for more information on this squadron level space combat game I created, you can check out the website at caladasia.com. Now what I'm going to do for today is do something a little bit different. At least it's a little bit different in terms of the Yon Caladasia show I've been running for a little while now. But for the people who are on the tabletop battlefield side, it'll probably seem right at home. I'm going to show you how to build your own simple, basic, portable painting tray. So you're going to need some quarter inch thick foam cord board. We're going to need some glue, a couple finishing nails, some tools, and of course a whole lot of try this project at your own risk. So let's get started. Start by cutting out a 20 inch by 13 inch rectangle from the quarter inch thick foam core board. This piece will serve as the base of the painting tray. With the base complete, let's move on to working on the sides of the painting tray. Start by cutting out a piece of foam core board that's 13 inches long by 8 inches wide. Next, cut this piece in half so you now have two 13 inch by 4 inch pieces of foam core board and for added style, slope the front half of the sides down to a single point. To attach the sideboards to the baseboard, start by inserting three finishing nails along each of the 13 inch sides of the baseboard. Next, run some white glue along the bottom of the sideboard and glue the sideboard down such that it sticks into the three nails that are sticking up along the side. To build the top shelf of the painting tray, start by cutting out a piece of foam core board that is 22 inches long by 5 inches wide. Cut two slots into the top shelf of the painting tray such that these slots are one inch in from the outside edge of the top shelf, are a quarter inch wide and four inches deep. These two slots should then line up with the side walls of the painting tray. For the brush holder, I used a piece of PVC piping that was one and a half inches in diameter by three inches long. A hacksaw is a great tool for cutting down a piece of PVC pipe. Now on the top shelf, you need to trace out areas for one, your brush holder, two, your water cup, and three, your paints. For the brush holder, you want to trace around the PVC pipe that you can actually be using as a brush holder. For the water cup, you want to trace around another circular object that's just a tiny bit bigger in diameter than the actual water cup you're going to be using. Another cup will work pretty good, but also a roll of tape will work just as well. As for the rows of paints, what you want to do is line up a row of paint pods of whatever manufacturer you choose to use, and then draw out a rectangle around those rows of paint pods. Then, cut these areas out using a variety of tools like a cordless drill, a coping saw, and a hobby knife. Glue the top shelf of the painting tray to the side walls such that it sits about an inch and a half off the base. I find that using finishing nails to support the top shelf while it is drying is a great idea. Now it is time for the last step of the build. Get out your PVC pipe brush holder, glue it down into place, wait a couple hours for everything to dry, then go ahead and start painting. Well, there you go. Now you know how to build your own simple, basic, portable painting tray, which of course the name just rolls right off the tongue. But now that you have your own portable painting tray, you're going to need some figures to paint. Of course, I'm going to recommend the Legends of Caladasia Starship figure combat line, which along with the starter sets for my game, as well as a couple small expansions, is available for sale over at the game's website at caladasia.com. And while you're over there, you can go ahead and sign up for a mailing list so you can get a free copy of the Captain Hark Hylon crew card, who is one of the main characters from the series of short stories, The Flight of the Tyroner 1. And if you do happen to be new to the figure painting world, well, the Legends of Caladasia Starship figures are a great way to get started. So with that, thank you for watching Beyond Caladasia. I'm Jason, and have a good night.